Take one. On it. <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> Take one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Runderwear Marathon Training Series. This series is all about marathon prep, from summer running, tips and tricks on how to get prepared to get you to the start line. So it's episode three, we're talking all about nutrition. Nutrition is super personal, so what works for one person won't necessarily work for another. So let's catch up with Linda and find out how she treats nutrition for her marathon training. Hi guys, when it comes to nutrition, I would say that I'm still trying to find my feet, trying to find what's best for me. In the past, I've used um, gels and stuff that haven't quite agreed with my stomach or have been too thick or have been horrible. I'm still trying to see what works best for me. I am trialing the goo and the high five gels and they seem to be working really well for me. So yeah, I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm always up for trying something new that will improve um, my performance, but for now, I'm gonna stick with these and see how they go. I completely understand where Linda's coming from there. I think it's super difficult to find out what works for you personally. Yeah, um, didn't you have an absolute nightmare at Mar uh, Manchester? Uh, yeah, so my first marathon was at Manchester last year. Um, I did as much nutrition prep as I could. I trained on the right gels that I was supposed to be using. And then when it came to race day, I had everything planned. And we came to a part where we were running past families and they all had big buckets of sweets. And I thought, this is extra nutrition. This can only be good for me. And there were families with cakes and stuff and not many of them were gone, so I felt bad. And I thought, I'm just gonna have a few cakes. <laughs> They'll keep me boosted. I can save my gels for when I really need them and it killed my race, I, I had to start walking right at the end um, and I had real stomach issues, real yeah, stomach bet. issues. Maybe there's a reason that not many cakes had gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because you were meant to say, this is all about, and then I said, and you were meant to be saying, yeah, but I, all right, scratch this. Experimental with nutrition is super important to find out what works for you personally. Which is a bit like Kev, because he's never really focused on nutrition, but he is this time around. This is the first marathon that he's really, uh, where he's focusing on that. Yeah, Kev does kind of uh, break the rule book, doesn't he? Yeah. He doesn't focus on strength and conditioning, doesn't focus on nutrition, and somehow he manages to put it out the bag time and time again. Yeah. But this time around, with him focusing on all of those things, maybe that's Yeah, we'll needed. see if he makes an improvement. Yeah, and he'll get into that 2.45 that he's after. Come on, Kev! <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna cringe me out so much. So the three things I've been experimenting with during this marathon training block are post run recovery protein shakes, which I generally take half an hour after a hard session, straight long run, just to help sort of speed up muscle recovery. The second thing is electrolyte mix, which I just mix with water and take uh, before a run and during a hard run. And I find this um, just helps replenish the sort of salt lost during sweating, thus hopefully preventing cramping in the long run. And the third thing is energy chews, which I've replaced um, from gels, which I, which I would normally take. And I find the chews a lot easier in the stomach, tastes really good and overall just easier to consume. So, yeah. When it comes to nutrition prep, often it's about introducing new things in small doses and seeing how your body responds. And that's exactly what Amy is testing at the moment in her training. Morning guys, I'm about to head out on my long run and so I just thought I'd quickly talk to you about nutrition I've been using and how I've been adding it in to my training. So I've always used science and sports energy gels which have been brilliant and so I've been adding those in and getting my stomach a bit more used to taking on reggae throughout the runs because obviously when we're racing um, the marathon probably you're going to have to take it on a bit more than you would say on an easy run because you'll be expending a bit more energy um, so yeah just getting my stomach used to that i've also had a bit of a trial with some beta fuel for my harder sessions which has been great just give me electric kick and energy again a lot of it's practice just getting my stomach used to 
um, taking on this kind of uh, nutrition before having to do a hard effort on running. And then to make sure I'm staying hydrated and on top of that, placing any extra uh, fluids, um, electrolytes, salts lost through sweat. I've been obviously using these Hydro Tabs and Science of Sport again, which have been awesome. But I'm not trying to add it all in one go. I'm just doing little, little and often, um, just to see how my stomach responds because that's gonna be a very important factor on race day. Nutrition is super personal. What? You can't have that. Which is exactly what Kev has done. Oh. <laughs>